Jamaat Ahmadiyya Belize brings to you another exciting episode of Points to Ponder. This week, Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, the head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community, continued to speak about and narrate different stories relating to Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him's life. Let's begin. It is mentioned in history that Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, freed many slaves. His Holiness, may Allah strengthen his hands, mentioned several Muslim slaves who were being tortured due to accepting Islam and explained how they were bought and freed by Hazrat Abu Bakr. His Holiness explained that Hazrat Abu Bakr's father once said to him that instead of freeing the weak slaves, he should free the powerful ones so they may protect him. Hazrat Abu Bakr replied by saying, O oh, my dear father, I only wish to achieve the pleasure of Allah. Let us now take a look at the protection given to Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him. When Muslims were being severely persecuted in Mecca, the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, advised the Muslims to migrate towards Abyssinia, saying that you may spread out in the earth as Allah will gather you together. Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, also intended to migrate and left Mecca for this purpose. When he reached Yemen, he met a leader named Ibn Daghna, who asked him why he was leaving Mecca. Hazrat Abu Bakr told him that, My people have forced me to leave. Now I intend to travel about on the earth and worship God. Ibn Daghna responded that, This cannot be done by a man of your caliber. You carry out good deeds not found elsewhere. You are kind to your relatives and treat guests with good hospitality. You support those who are weak and help those in need. I grant you my protection. When the leaders of Mecca found out, they accepted his protection. On this condition, that Hazrat Abu Bakr will only worship in his house, so that he does not influence other people. Hazrat Abu Bakr agreed and made his house courtyard into a mosque where he prayed and recited Qur'an. Whenever people would pass by his house, they would witness him praying and crying while reciting Qur'an. The leaders of Mecca complained to Ibn Dagna, and he requested Hazrat Abu Bakr to either stop this practice or come out of his protection. Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, replied that, I return your protection, and I am happy with Allah's protection. For today's final point, we are reminded to pray for all those brothers and sisters who are suffering from around the world. His Holiness, may Allah strengthen his hands, urged prayers for Ahmadis of Afghanistan, as there have been many arrests and people are quite worried. May Allah make their matters easy. Amen. Similarly, Hazur, may Allah strengthen his hands, urged Ahmadis to pray for Pakistan and for the entire world that may Allah enable them to accept the promised Messiah. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. May Allah enable us all to ponder over these points and to derive full benefit from the Friday sermons of His Holiness. May Allah strengthen His hands. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Inni ma ka ya masru Inni ma ka ya masru